All right, today's topic is going to be our upgraded charge pipe and our upgraded boost couplers. We have our BOV here and our TurboSmart block off plate. When putting your BOV together, make sure to reference your little tutorial guide here. Get the 10 mil that's down in here. As Caleb is uh, reinstalling the throttle body, this is going to be the orientation of the boost tap. Okay, when all said and done, this is what it should look like. So you got the plenum here, boost tap aiming downward, then you got the throttle body aiming this way. This is what the engine bay is going to look like. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this guy. This one we're going to remove the belly pan next and then take care of all the charge pipes. Okay, with the belly pan removed, you gain access to the charge pipe. This is the 90. You have one clamp right here and another one right here. So there's a 10 mil on a stud that connects to the mech cover here. You're gonna remove that and you're gonna be able to drop the entire charge pipe down. We are going to leave our pipe loose. We're gonna go back up top put the plenum back on, reseal it all up, uh, and then we'll come down here and we'll put the coupler on. All right, so we're coming back up to the plenum side to talk about um, specifically 19 plus cars here real quick. Um, so what's going on in the 19 plus is you'll see on the throttle body side, they have actually added additional ports um, on the top side. And what that is, it is a recirculation line to the plenum. So, in most cars, you're going to leave this line here, and um, our kit is going to supply a few components for you. The kit itself is going to come with this plug here, and we'll get to that here in just a moment, but some of you might already have this piece here, and this is the Unitronic My19 Plus intake adapter. So if you're already running this piece installed, what's going on there is it is already blocking this hole here. So if we leave that plugged in, uh, you will end up leaving this line installed here as is from the factory. Now, if we're going with everything from the iROS kit, you will entirely remove this hose. You will remove the block off. You will take our plug and simply install it on the plenum side. Oop. So, as that is installed, you will then leave this side open and you're good to go as long as the TurboSmart block off plate is closed for the diverter valve port. Everything else is as shown. All right, so as you can see, since we deleted the diverter valve, we're gonna put in our jumper plug and uh, this will make sure we don't have any check engines or anything like that on stock ECU. Now 
or just kind of sit down right in there. All right, so as you can see, we have our banjo bolt here, which is supplied and two washers. Now this bolt's gonna go into the top of our BOV. Make sure a washer is on each side of this fitting here. The line is left a little long, so you have kind of your own decision on how you want to run it. So we have our vibrant 90 degree coupler here. A little blue Loctite and the Bellacan. careful for are the hood release lines um, you don't want to jam them up or pinch them at all so just make sure you place it right on top of it kind of slide it into place there Yeah. Mm -hmm.